What's up guys, this is KH Unlimited. Today I have another video for you guys and I'm kind of excited to make this video because I haven't really seen uh, any video on this topic. Maybe there is, but I haven't seen it. And it's basically if Sephiroth should be in Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, as we know, Sephiroth's been in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. And obviously he should be in 3 because that's kind of one of the side things that's been in Kingdom Hearts uh, that has to do with Final Fantasy. And one of it was one of the best bosses and as you know, one of my favorite boss battles. So, basically on this topic, there's two main sides. One, uh, that people are saying that he's done his job at Kingdom Hearts 2. He flew off with Cloud and they're fighting somewhere or something like that. And they're saying that it's finished, it's done, it shouldn't be Kingdom Hearts again. But I like to say no to that, that makes no sense because it has to finish. Like, uh, going up into the air isn't really an ending. I was kind of hinting that it should continue somewhere. And so I'm part of the other side. The other side being it has to end off in Kingdom Hearts 3. And it has to be Kingdom Hearts 3 since it's also the end of the saga. I wouldn't really feel complete without a Sephiroth battle. So some people might not agree with this, but for the new players of Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, for the people who won't be as skilled as the old players that have been playing and have been waiting for 7 years, uh, I kind of want to make Sephiroth ba battle kind of so hard that maybe they won't be able to do it. Uh, what I mean by that is that I don't want them to make it, I don't want uh, Square Enix to be like, oh, since it's new players, make it a bit easy so they could be able to do it because uh, that'd be kind of a waste for the people who've been waiting 7 years for the game. Uh, they wanted a really hard and skilled battle so they, I want them to make it as hard as they can. So even if the pe new people who if they are unskilled i can't beat it it's okay because it's really meant for the old fans who want to fight Sephiroth. so i really wanted to make it hard intense battle so that's my main focus first of all it has to be hard if it's easy that kind of ruins the whole aspect of the Sephiroth battle everybody knows the Sephiroth battle was made to be hard to be crazy to make you cry <laughs> no I'm kidding it's just like really difficult that's what i mean so yeah that's the first thing i want to be uh insanely difficult and another thing that i want to be is this is kind of what i want to happen so I want uh, Sora to fight Sephiroth. I don't know how it's going to be introduced. Maybe it's just Sephiroth standing there, how he always was. I don't know, maybe something cooler. Uh, so I want them to battle out how they've always done, but I want it to be much harder, as I said. And I also want uh, Sephiroth to be much more fast, because, like I said, uh, it's for the old time fans. They're kind of used to the speed and how the Kingdom Hearts franchise has been more speed type of fighting. And so this will be faster, so you're going to have to be more on your toes and you're going to have to be used to his agility. So I want it to be much faster. I want to have stronger attacks. I know it's kind of insane, but yeah, I want the to happen and this is what I, I want to happen so once you beat him everyone's excited uh it was a really hard battle you just beat him but i don't want it to end there i want i want this to happen which what i thought was gonna happen in kingdom Hearts 2 and i still want it to happen so in kingdom Hearts 2 when you beat sephiroth cloud came and he kind of started fighting sephiroth and just went into the air and i was kind of disappointed by that so what i want to happen in kingdom Hearts 3 is what i thought was gonna happen in kingdom Hearts 2 so once you beat sephiroth it just shows sephiroth uh with the sword to sora's head like uh, he's about to like kill him or something but then uh cloud comes and kind of deflects the sword out of the way and then a new battle starts with you with cloud fighting sephiroth so i really wanted this in kingdom Hearts 2 and i was disappointed that it didn't happen because cloud is one of my favorite characters too from final fantasy and it's pretty awesome and being able to fight with him fighting sephiroth is really badass like i want to see cloud doing his badass moves on sephiroth while you're fighting him this fight uh, that you're doing with Cloud is gonna be like 10 times harder than the one you just did even though I just said the one uh, I want is gonna be really difficult it's gonna be much harder than that I know that I'm making this sound really difficult but that's the point we've been waiting um, seven years for this game it has to be retardedly difficult and make us want to cry and throw our TVs out the window so basically I want it to be like this so you gotta fight with Cloud I want it to be insanely hard Sephiroth has to have much more speed much intense battle it has to be a long battle uh he has to have strong attacks and we all know kingdom Hearts 2 has like these epic effects of sword fighting and uh sephiroth with the slashes so i want that to stay in even more amazing effects like is those fire beam things he did in kingdom Hearts 2 so i want the effects to be epic i just want it to look so awesome it's been seven years i want this to be awesome a lot of people haven't been thinking about the sephiroth battle but i have so i hope they bring back the sephiroth battle uh so it's kind of like different from the story that ever been everybody's been making videos about how the story should be i want the sephiroth battle to be like this yeah so this is basically how i want the sephiroth battle and uh so for the people who were saying that uh that is finished kingdom hearts 2 uh this one's gonna make more sense because at this game i know uh, kingdom hearts usually doesn't do this but it should kind of show sephiroth die maybe not in a violent way like how in final fantasy games but maybe like just go like fade away in darkness like how they did with uh axel in king wars 2 something like that that would be more of an ending than people would understand yeah this is the end of sephiroth he's not coming back so this would be more of an ending so i want sephiroth to die in this and it'll kind of make sense too that you 
and Cloud just kicked his ass. So uh, if you guys have any kind of alternate ending to the battle, or you guys have a whole new sense of battle, how you would fight Sephiroth, or you don't want Sephiroth, put a put it down in the comments. Uh, I really want to read it. You guys know that I read each and every one of them and I actually reply to them. So please put it down in the comments. I appreciate every comment that comes and the viewers. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and remember the possibilities in Kingdom Hearts are limited. Later.